big cars, powering British Challenge Mixed Martial Arts throughout 2016 www.bigcars.co.uk Okay, this is our co-main event. This bout will be contested in the welterweight division. A professional bout fought over three five-minute rounds. Introducing firstly, fighting out of the red corner, representing MK yeah. Legion, Amad Ga. opponent fighting out to the blue corner he is a UFC veteran representing Tsunami Jim John the one Maguire The co main event of the evening here at BC MMA 14. John the one Maguire rocking the Bret Hart style black with pink trim, <laughs> taking on Amar the Barracuda guy. Amar guy took this fight on short notice that Maguire originally supposed to fake Aldrich Kasata. Many would argue, Josh, that. Guy, perhaps the tougher Tough test fight, sure. to. I mean, look, Amo Green's been on a bit of a terror lately. You know, he he's one and one in his his last two, but he was absolutely dominating both those fights. Uh, and one of them, of course, he, he got caught. The other, he, he took a very good, unanimous decision. So Amo Green, you know, great judo, great wrestling, as we expect from a lot of the French guys. And, and as you can tell already from that opening stanza, very very explosive indeed. Perhaps the difference here, Josh, is in those last two contests he was fighting guys who are perhaps known for either being strikers or strikers with a good guard game rather than wrestlers. And here he's fighting a guy who's a very, very good submission wrestler. Yeah, the wrestling versus the judo is an interesting matchup. I'm, I'm curious to see here. We know how good John Maguire's cage wrestling is, and we know his single leg is absolutely world class once he gets in on it. So it's going to be interesting to see. Who gets the better to stand up and what happens if and when 
they clinch up. Um, bearing that in mind is Maguire perhaps going to opt to box here, Josh. And he does have good boxing and training for a very long time in, in all those disciplines. It has to be said, though, 11 of his 20 wins have come by way of submission. There's a fantastic Kimura sequence once he gets to the ground. Well, McGuire did mention to me earlier today that he has been suffering from a chest infection on fight week. Still able to make weight and compete here this evening, though. Let's see how that affects him as we move into the later stages of the fight. I think it was a pretty solid weight cut for Maguire this time around. He has, of course, fought lighter than this, so. Good outside kick from him, landing well. You have to ask the same question about Aim Guy. He's taken this fight on reasonably short notice. How fit is he? How conditioned is he? He's used to stepping in. Seems like a guy he may just be good to go 365 days a year. It does have the hallmarks of a fight that could be decided in the later rounds, Josh. Good combination from Gui. Followed that kick very quickly behind the hands. No, I think, think you're right, Brad. I mean, I can easily see this fight going into the third if one of them doesn't land clean early on Maguire looking confident center of the cage sharp sharp shots from a guy there it has been said about Maguire in the past Josh he does sometimes need to be woken up before he gets into a fight. Yeah, I mean, mixed up the target areas really well there. Has been focusing on the body of John Maguire so far. I don't know if those upper body tie-ups are, are going to work too well for Maguire here. Given the, the upright judo background of Amar Gui, you'd figure Maguire's got to really change level and make sure he gets in on the legs. Very impressive performance from Amar Gui last year against Matt Inman. Very deep into the third round before succumbing to a triangle choke. And of course came back with the unanimous decision victory over Mick Bowman. Maguire straight in on that takedown there and already attacking the leg. And it's interesting, he looked as though he's setting up his Kimura here. Trademark move from John Maguire. He's finished so many with this one. The cage may prevent him. Yeah, it's going to stop him stepping around the head. It's going to make it harder for him to turn his opponent on his side. Gui's got his hands clasped together here. And Maguire's going to be very comfortable here. Just elbow going to work on the... The motor point on the outside of the thigh. He'll be very comfortable in this position. Oh, but not long to work, unfortunately. Final 10 seconds of the round. You've almost got to say that takedown in this position is the decisive action of the round. They were kind of tit for tat on the leg kicks until then. So, you know, John Maguire may have just nicked that round in the last 20 seconds. Well, we said about him sometimes needing to be woken up and he certainly seemed awake at the end of that round. A nice takedown, but immediately Attacking the leg, switching to the Kimura. Trademark John Maguire. I and mean, it has to be said, stealing that round with, with good takedowns at the end is something that John Maguire has always done very, very well. And his, his fight IQ is, is, is excellent in that regard. Well, Maguire's been in the game a long time fought on pretty much every organization in the UK of note. Number of fights in the Ultimate Fighting Championship. Picked up some big wins in the UFC. Had a bit of time off from the sport, healing up some injuries and came back successfully here at BCMMA last year. 
now looking to keep that momentum up against the man who certainly is not here to just make up the numbers, an Ahmed guy. An Ahmed guy again, like many French fighters, forced to travel to do a lot of his competing. He's fought pretty much all over Europe, Russia. Again, has fought in Grozny, Chechnya. No strangers to fighting in England either. Maguire landing that outside low kick. <laughs> Maguire looking a bit looser now in this second round. And Maguire though coming out with the right jab. Both men southpaws cancel out the South for advantage if there was one. Oh, nice combination from Maguire. Very, very sharp left hand. It seems to have given him a little bit of confidence to jump those hands forward more. Maguire just pouring out with a jab. Getting out of the striking range when he has to. Remaining focused and composed here is Maguire. with a good combination there. Yeah, very tactical battle. Neither one surging forward too decisively. Always wary of the counter striking of the opponent. Well, Josh, this round looking pretty even so far. Certainly all to play for. One big shot or one big takedown. Yeah, I am surprised that Maguire hasn't, hasn't looked for that single leg yet. Nice work with the hands from Maguire and then able to duck out of danger. I agree, does stand very upright even when he comes forward with those strikes. You gotta think Maguire's gotta be thinking about timing his level change. There you go. Big pick up. Good takedown from Maguire. Textbook stuff there from John Maguire. Now let's see if he can pass. We've got an overhook control. Maguire's going to try and step over. That right leg work his way to half guard. See immediately he goes to control the leg. Good use of the lockdown from Gui. Forcing Maguire up the body to look for those ties. But I, I expect Maguire to, if he can free his leg, turn down towards the hips, look for that Kimura grip again. But again, it's that decisive action of putting the fight here that he so often uses to nick those rounds. This could be yet another one on his scorecard. looking to try and advance this position. I mean, it's hard to deal with it. Like, he's got to flick that leg free of that lockdown. It's free now, so he's got to make it count. Except the close guard, though. And I, and I think he'll be happy just to let time wear down here in this round. It's well, I'm a guy's proved on numerous occasions that he's good to go for all three. Four of his nine professional wins have come by way of decision. A couple of knockouts, a couple of submissions in there as well. Gui showing no sign of unlocking this guard, no sign of feet on the hips, and, and no intention to really frame and stand back up. He's kind of accepting this position right now. 
And what all Maguire's got to do is keep his hands safe, keep them off the mat, control those biceps. You can see he's staying in line, keeping his head in the center. It's just basic, good posture to, to maintain this position. It's probably going to be two rounds to none to Maguire now. End of the second round. Maguire pops straight back up as does Aim Guy. And Josh, if you're in the corner now of John Maguire, what's the advice that you're giving? He's, as you say, perhaps two rounds to nothing on the scorecard so far. It wouldn't surprise me if it was more of the same, although I imagine what, what his brother Tommy Maguire will be saying to him is, you know, get that takedown earlier. Let's spend more time. You can clearly outgraffle him once you're on top. You know, we've seen it twice now in both rounds. So maybe let's look to get that takedown a little bit earlier. Gui, on the other hand, I, you know, I'm struggling to see what game plan he can implement right now that's going to have some effectiveness for him. He's not looking for any takedowns. So, you know, he's got to make the, the strikes count. And his corner have got to be telling him that you probably need a stoppage, which means he's going to have to come forward very aggressively. That, of course, is going to open his hips up for Maguire's takedown. Could be an all or nothing situation here for the Frenchman. Like originally from the Ivory Coast. France is home. Well, he has traveled the world competing in mixed martial arts, looking to pick up another victory here in the UK at the expense of John the one Maguire. Maguire looking to keep that momentum from his last contest here. It's not you can see there's a sense of urgency for Omar Gui now. He's coming forward, he's looking to put Maguire on the cage. Swinging a bit more aggressively. He's definitely gone weapons free with those hands. Yeah, just timing Maguire's takedown attempt there. Maguire only stopped by knockout once, really, in his professional career. It'll be a huge upset for Aim Guy to do that here tonight. Maguire just getting that footwork going again. Able to yeah, clear the strikes thrown by the Frenchman. Guy started promisingly, but he's, he's got to keep this pace up. He's got to keep the volume coming. To keep Maguire on the back foot. Oh, Maguire searching from a long way out. Really telegraph that takedown attempt. Here, yeah, Robbie Olivier in the crowd there just imploring John Maguire to put a punch in his face, then drop for the takedown. Certainly a sensible strategy. Got to keep him a guy guessing here. Yeah, and Gui starting to throw in some good combinations now. If he can make John Maguire think about a knee up the middle as well, that might go in his favour. Maguire has a nice right hand there, another combination. Gui has to see the judo prowess of Amo Guy come into effect here. I don't know, he didn't drive for the body lock. Well, now he's going after Maguire with strikes. He is, and, and you see how well, Ma Look how well Maguire runs the pipe. I mean, he, do he doesn't just turn 90 degrees, he turns 360 degrees. And you just can't possibly stop that kind of rotation along with the level change. Never going to be denied with that single leg takedown. Already going for the Kimura. He's yeah, searching for it. He knows this setup like the back of his hand. They're going to step over the head. He's going to get rolled. Should be able to keep going here. Maguire cranking oh, the arm. Here we this go. Is tight. Oh, oh and Maguire escapes. Unbelievable stuff from the Frenchman. You see how good that control is when you, you start going with it. Very, very few people can claim to have escaped to John Maguire Kimura. Well, let's see if you can get another one set up before the end of this round. Got to well, think Maguire's ahead on the scorecards yeah, I mean, here, though, Josh. I know he doesn't favour this this side, the setup from this particular side of the body as well. But you know, time is ticking away here, and you certainly decisive action from Maguire. He's going to want to stabilise this position and spend a lot of time on top. Here he goes. Looking for 
it, Josh. See if he opts to step over the head again. I think what he'll do is probably wait for a little bit of space and then move. Heavy. Boy, just taking a breather here. Yeah, heavy breaths from Gui as well. Well, Maguire says he's got it. Just waiting for the opportunity. Yeah, he's got to try some erratic movements to jerk this free. Just playing the chess game now as Maguire. Well, you see he's motioning that he's going to open his legs up as well. Though he's freed it through the first stage. He's going to have to get that right leg closer to the head to try and turn Gui over. Very hard to get the leverage you need whilst facing the hips here. Oh, he frees the, frees the leg. Well, you know what? I think he'll take the pass to side control. It's good progression. It's moving up that positional ladder. It really can't be long left in this round. Oh, we're going to see a final flurry. Maguire looking to go Neil Belly, step into Mount. Mount for John Maguire. If he can finish with a few strikes here, he'll be very happy. Two big elbows from Maguire, and that's all she wrote. Yeah, Maguire's going to take this one on a decision. Good grappling performance for him. A little bit wary in the first round. Gui trying to pull it back in the third, but Maguire with the significant actions for sure. Both these men clearly having a great time in the cage here at BCMMA 14. You'd have to think John Maguire will see his hand raised, but we'll leave that one to our judges as we await our official decision. Come here, both fighters, to the center of the cage, please. After a three-round tactical battle, striker versus grappler cliche, all three judges score this bout 29-28 in favor of the blue corner, John Maguire.